Welcome. Here's a real life scenario I think you all have heard or even enjoyed in your experience as a maintenance or rotating equipment manager. It is mostly on weekends or during night shift when your machine protection system initiates an alarm or a shutdown on your critical machinery. Now, which is good, um, but the point now is what is next? What happened to the machine? What, initi what initiated the alarm? What is the root cause of the machine shutdown? Thomas, you're talking to customers and operators almost on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. What is your answer to this question? I would say normally use a flight data recorder and they will ask why. It's a, fli a, a flight data recorder? Yeah, so um, some uh, online condition monitoring protection system are able to make an, uh, a record of each event which occurred. That means start, stop, um, um, threshold violation, etc. Mm -hmm. And they, um, li like a flight data recorder, they will uh, record it and store it uh, separately. And afterwards you will have the possibility to go to the system and make an analysis of this event. So I can replay what happened and I can see, I don't know, signals that initiated uh, the alarm by violating thresholds. Oh, that, that's okay, but you cannot only see the signals which are violated the uh, threshold setting, mm -hmm. you also see the complete raw data. That means you can make a perfect root cause analysis to make an investigation to avoid such kind of problem in the future. And this is what you will show us in your tutorial now? I will show you the ring buffer and also um, a case study of a liquid carryover on a fourth row um, a reciprocating machinery. Pretty interesting. Stay tuned here at Intelligent Machine Monitoring.